one. You are watching Sipping Off the Cuff on tequilaaficionado.com. I'm Alex Perez. I am Mike Morales in beautiful downtown Tejas, San Antonio, Tejas. Oh, and and Alex, we have we have one of these that, have, that this brand has been around for a long time. We have Karma because you and I have good karma. <laughs> you know, Karma Tequila. Karma Tequila. Gary Hello. Eisenberger. Uh, Hello. Yeah, it's, it's a substantial bottle. It's really different. Uh, you'll notice that there's a there's a leather tie up here. You can undo the leather tie, and uh, occasionally the 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 brand owners run contests within within their accounts. Um, you know, how, however many bottles they sell, you you got it. You got to prove it by taking this off, and it's a great bracelet. Believe it or not, it's leather with a with a you know it's a it's a whole really it's a fun it it's really is a fun tequila. Um, they uh, Gary Eisenberger's a, the the main mouthpiece, but that's only on on the west coast. On the right coast, you got a guy named Karma Ray. Uh, there's one other partner involved who is uh, I believe that they uh, had put together um, they developed Brazilian blowout. Um, so these are these guys, and they're fun. These, these Gary is such a nice guy that the guy towers. It's like he's like six five, six seven. He's just a big, big guy. Really a nice man. Very forthcoming. When we, uh, when we were involved with the uh, with Salt Liquor Lime, uh, they they threw in bottles of tequila and sponsored the the, the movie. You know. Uh, I, they, I was the day the day I showed up was the day they delivered the bottles directly. I mean, all I had to do was text um, Gary, and and he had his his um, a warehouse deliver it. And it, it, I can't say enough about these guys, and they do a lot of charity work for children as well. So um, the uh, distillery is 1107, which is distillery Distilleria El, El Viejito which sometimes has a bad reputation. Um, I, I, I have it uh, on, on, uh, on his authority that his tequila is, uh, is uh, in fact, if, I'll, I can look for the, for the information he gave me, but it, 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 he is not, um, they're not using a diffuser. All right, uh, the distillery does have a diffuser, but he does not use it, not for his brand. And and this distillery makes several tequilas. They make distinct for, for Trader Joe's. Um, I think they also make uh, Citronage for Patron. Uh, at one point, Peligroso was actually at that distillery, but uh, since then, Diageo has bought it and will move it someplace. I, I don't know where. You know, so... Anyway, that's who these guys are. They're good. Yeah. And they're kosher, they're kosher too. Yes, they are. <clears throat> they, uh, you know, great for the upcoming holidays, Hanukkah, you know, and, and any other any other uh, holiday you can think of where kosher is significant. And I love, well, this, mine. I love this bottle, man. It's yeah. Beautiful. I've got mine poured, and it's got uh, nice platinum color to it it's uh, this one is chiny it's chiny beautiful what do the notes say uh, thick and creamy with hints of vanilla and soft agave really okay well we'll, we'll see yeah let's find out <sighs> mm. nice fresh nose yeah very clean it's very clean clean citrusy A lot of lemon lime notes. Also very clean, very uh, green, but very fr uh, fragrant. Yeah, it's a uh, it 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 smells a lot like a like a Highlands tequila. Nice. Very minimal alcohol on the blanco. It's very, very uh, fragrant. Mm. 
Wow. Um, now, as far as I remember, Ooh. this this uh, it's a blend. That's the difference between the, of, of this tequila. It is a blend of double and triple distilled. So your Blanco is double and triple distilled. Wow, this is a this is a big Blanco. Now here's here's a and I have a text message from from Gary because he's he's a close personal friend. <laughs> <laughs> I asked him. Well, I I asked him. I said I said Gary, between you, me, and the fence post, does El Viejito use a diffuser for Karma? He said one hundred percent no. No diffuser. Brick oven cooked with steam, milled through a shredder, after cool down and room at room temp, water through the rollers. So so he has has admitted that, that this tequila is made the old fashioned way and, and of course it is uh, doubled and triple distilled. So that's where the that's where the smoothness I think and the softness comes from, Alex. Oh yeah. Is that it's a blend, and the nice thing is it's it's st something like this is really unusual. It 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 distinguishes itself from other blancos out there. Um, you know, as I said, uh, 1107 used to produce Peligroso, and you and I really loved Peligroso because it was at a higher ABV. So rather than go at higher ABV, they decided to 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 do something different for Karma, a different whole different recipe, and and went with a double triple distilled, which I think was a a really great move. I like this a lot. This it is, is it is it is a smooth tequila, smooth on the palate. It still has its little bite there at the end. Yeah. And but what a full what a fullness on the palate. Mm. Not from additives or anything like that. It's just it's just a substantial blanco. Yeah, and and I guess it, it, the, you know I can only imagine what it's like at a double distilled. At full strength, without being before they triple distill it, I bet a double distilled, it's 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 really dynamic, you know. They had to do something to tame this thing down so, <laughs> because this is really good. Now, uh, obviously, it's going to lend itself. It's going to shine through in, co in your cocktails, but um, this would be good on the rocks, Alex. And I don't do I don't do tequila on the rocks, but I think this would be on the rocks with with a twist of lime or lemon and yeah, and and. And you got to be careful when you do on the rocks because you got to have the right ice. Don't mean to be an ice snob. Ice, ice, baby. <laughs> but you have to have. You know what? If you're, if you like to do drinks on ice, on the rocks, like something like this, you, you don't want to dilute it down so quickly. Then they just, you're just drinking water down, uh, mm. you know, tequila. So if you get your 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 uh, your own molds, make your own ice at home. That'll be that'll be good enough, because if you buy ice, usually the ice that you buy, which looks you know real nice and clear, it's so watery that it, it, it immediately starts to water down your drink, and you don't want that. You want something to to make it cold and let it dilute slowly. Yeah, I I would you know as 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 rounded and smooth as these edges are for for this tequila, I guess if you were just to throw whatever ice cubes in it. You you would really miss out on a lot of on a lot of the nuances, you know. Like I say, I don't I don't typically or normally do cocktails or do tequila on ice, uh, but this would be one that I would try, you know. Um, I'm, I I would be tempted to try this one. I'm not sure why, but but like you said, if we're gonna do it, let's you know let's let's add the right, the right the right a the right ice. You know, this tequila has been around for a long time, Alex. I, I think Karma has, you can find Karma at Costco. You can find it literally all over the country. If you follow them on Facebook and you follow them on Twitter, each of the owners are everywhere. And then, you know, they as, as hard as they work, they party just as hard. So you see pictures of the uh, of the brand owners with, with the gals that they train and you know they got training going on here and there and everywhere and then they they I think I don't know how many times a year they 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 go to Cabo and they have a home in Cabo now Gary um, 
I, I guess is pretty well connected. So he's he's good friends with everybody down there. So um, I, I believe he's friends with Clooney uh, and Randy Gerber. So they're they're like neighbors. Uh, you know these guys these guys are you can find this tequila in Las Vegas. They're all over Las Vegas. What I really enjoy though, when when you see children's uh, uh, charities. And, and I interviewed Gary, uh, I would say, a little over a year ago. I, I haven't written it up yet, and I'll get specific with him as to which charities he, he does. But he is so into children's charities that, that it's not even funny. Um, I, I really, I, you know, they really live up to the name Karma. They, they really, really do. Um, I, I would like to nominate Karma as a brand of promise in the legacy category because they've been around for for a, a while and and their distribution is everywhere. They're in Total Wines, you know. They're they're everywhere. But they've these guys have worked really hard to get there, and and it hasn't been you know a cakewalk for them either. Just because they have you know the, the the monetary backing that they do. They 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 still sell this stuff out of the trunk of their car, and that's what I like. I like the fact that that he Gary is so accessible that you know, like I say, all I gotta do is is, is text him, and and he he's very forthcoming with information. So if if you wouldn't mind, Alex, I I think for and for packaging as well, I think I think the brand of promise for packaging, legacy category because they've been around for a while. Um, I I don't know if you would you agree with me then? I agree. I completely agree. In fact, I was thinking in my mind that uh, we couldn't nominate them for just a brand of promise. No, no, because uh, you know they don't need us. Been around for a while. Yeah, yeah, they've been around. They've been around for a good almost ten years, you know, at least. And it hasn't been all all easy. But if you look at their website, the 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 Blanco, you know, they they've gotten the the platinum award, the Santa Barbara Tequila Harvest in 2013. Uh, 2013, they won a gold medal, um, SIP awards. Uh, 2013, they they won uh, what is it silver or is that platinum uh, at the at the San Francisco World Spirits competition. Yeah, uh, yeah. 2013, 2014, uh, best of the best. Yeah, it's an award winner. This is an award winning tequila, so it's nothing to sneeze at. Um, I would imagine I, I've I've not priced it recently, but if you're available at Costco or you're available at at, at, at Total Wine, you know, it's not going to cost you an arm and a leg. And, and right, and like I say, it's cool that it's got a kosher seal at the bottom. So what's not to like? What's not to like? It's tequila. I think you it's know? a great tequila. I do too. I, I, I'm really impressed. I like that the fact that these guys are so hands-on. And it's all three brand owners. It's not just one who's the mouthpiece. It's all three of these guys work really hard. And if you follow any of the three guys on 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 Facebook, they're very accessible. Uh, everybody loves these guys. They're even other brand owners uh, are good friends with with Karma. Um, all Gary wants to do is grow the brand. He doesn't care how it's done. If it's done in in an elegant and honest way, he's behind you. You could you could own somebody else's brand, and he has frequently has. Uh, um, Stood up for other brands, you know, because in in the in the big he sees the big picture. In the big picture, it just expands the category. Sure. So so it's good, and I can't complain. I mean, you know, this is really a hearty blanco. Me. Yeah, it works for me, right? Good karma. Excellent. Ah. So anyway, well, that's even... that's our take on on karma. Uh, I'm Mike Morales in Texas. I'm Alex Perez. I'm looking forward to the Ripple Salvo and the Añejo. So stay tuned. Yeah. Watching Sipping Off the Cuff on tequilaaficionado.com. As always, sip wisely.